Another extremely important point is for us to be patient. Bear a lot of patience. If you want happiness in this world, you need to bear sabr. Without sabr, you will never ever be able to be happy. Sabr is patience, forbearance. Things will happen that you don't like. Someone has to die close to you or you have to die leaving behind people close to you crying. May Allah grant all the marhumin Jannah. Just today I got a message, a very good friend of mine, his mother passed away suddenly as good as my own mother. What can I do? I'm far away. The best gift to make a dua. May Allah grant her Jannatul Firdaus. Amen. And may Allah grant all the marhumin Jannatul Firdaus from all our families. And the day we go, may Allah grant us Jannatul Firdaus without reckoning. Bear patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says more than once. Verse number 45 as well as 153 of Surah Al-Baqarah. You will hear the words. Seek help through. Seek help through sabr and salah. What does that mean? That means through patience and prayer. You will have difficulties in life. Allah says we will test you. We will test you. Negative things will happen to you, but they will all be perceived as good and positive through two things. Patience and prayer. Keep on praying to Allah. Keep on bearing patience. Don't lose hope. Never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at what happened to those who lost hope or to those who did not bear patience. Do you know the children of Ya'qub alayhi salatu wasalam or those who are known as the followers of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, the people of the book. Allah makes mention of a story in Surah Al-Baqarah in verse number 61. Allah says, وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَىٰ لَن نَصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ طَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ When you told, meaning the children of Ya'qub, when they told the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, that we are not going to bear patience with this one type of food. Listen carefully, it's a very important point. Allah blessed them with man and salwa, the heavenly food, that which came from Jannah, that which came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were eating it. But after a while, they got fed up. We're eating the same thing every day. That's what they said. We're eating the same thing every day. So they said, Oh Musa, we don't want this food anymore. We're not going to bear patience any longer. We want the various different types of herbs and cucumbers and corn or garlic or various types of lentils and onions. We don't want man and salwa every single day. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that was ingratitude. We gave them something. They didn't want it or they got fed up and sick. How many of us? We don't have as much as the others who have unique exotic dishes every single day to select from. Rather, we just have the pup and vegetable. Mashallah. Thank Allah. Subhanallah. Thank Allah. And keep on having it and thanking Allah even if it means every single day. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in these verses, Thum Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Atastabdilun aladhi huwa adna bil aladhi huwa khair." Are you trying to change that which is better for that which is not even better, that which is okay? You want to change something which is better? Allah has given it to you. He knows it's good for you. I want to pause for a moment. Do you know the people who have high cholesterol, high sugar, high this and high that? Do you know a lot of the times it's those who are wealthy, who are eating all the different types of food. You take a look at the poor people who cannot even afford all of that. They eat a basic meal. A lot of them, they are healthy. They work hard, subhanallah. And they don't have all those struggles. This is not a rule, but I'm saying it's an observation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. My brothers and sisters, inshallah, we continue tomorrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of something very interesting. I will close with it inshallah. Allah says those people who were not patient with that food that we bestowed upon them, we converted them or we affect, we inflicted upon them humiliation and poverty. Why? Because they did not appreciate the ni'mah and the gifts of Allah upon them. When you don't appreciate what Allah has given you, He takes it away and replaces it with something worse. Remember that. 
So thank Allah. Even if you have to eat the same thing every day, even if you are leading a life that may not be as high as you wanted it to be, keep on thanking Allah. Who knows? He might take it away from you and replace it with something worse. Look at those across the globe who don't even have what you have, what I have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us be thankful.